Hello guys, welcome to the Code Ashram. My name is Rahul Shekhawat and this is our fourth video in the series of Selenium with Java. So in the last video, we saw that how we can initialize our web driver using web driver manager and how we can also set up our tear down function in which we can close the open browsers as well as and the web driver session using driver.quit and we also saw what is the difference between the driver.quit versus driver dot close so in this video we are gonna try to automate a test scenario on a hiraku internet uh, website where we are gonna we are going to automate this test scenario where we first will launch this internet heroku so this is a website uh, where you can practice your automation test uh, skills uh, i will also mention the same uh, link in the uh, video description so uh, here we are going to uh, going to automate this test scenario where first we are going to launch this application then we are going to click on this link forgot password and then we are going to enter the uh, email address in this email field and then we click on the retrieve password so we are going to automate this whole scenario so let's start let's go to our intellij ide so here we are going to write a test so for uh, uh, test we are going to use the test annotation it is one of the annotation in a uh, test ng so we are going to write a test uh, which is which is forget password so we are writing a test scenario name forget password where we are first going to launch our application we are gonna launch our application using driver.get so here we are gonna write our url so this driver.get will actually launch your application first and then after launching the application what we have to do is we have to click on forget password so for that we are first going to inspect that uh, this element so we can as we can see that we can easily uh, locate this element uh, using uh, link text so we are going to use the link text forget password to locate this element so we can find this element using driver.find by by link text so we are going to use link text and not by link test so what is the what was the text that uh, it was forget password so we are going to click on it so now uh, i we would have got uh, the element uh, by using uh, find by now we want to click on it so we are going to use click function for it so this uh, this command would will, will actually click on this forget password a link so after clicking on this link what we have to do is that we have to enter the email so we we are going to inspect this uh, element email so as you can see that there is a id attribute over here so we can easily locate this element using id so again we are going to use driver dot find by by we're going to use id so here one thing to note is that as we know that uh, we can locate uh, uh, the elements which are located by id uh, by using hash but we are not going to use hash over here because we have specified that we are going to locate the element using id so uh, we are not going to use hash over here but instead if you would uh, but instead if you are using driver dot find by by css selector then in that case you are going to use hash so in that case you are going to use hash bus but if you use hash in by dot id then it won't work the locator won't work it won't find you the uh, locator so we are gonna send uh, keys into it so uh, so that uh, it will uh, write the text we are gonna uh, send it so what we are gonna send it a uh, email so we can send an email
qa.com after that what we have to do is we have to click on this retrieve password as we can see that we can uh, click on retrieve password using the id again that is form uh, submit so first we are going to get this uh, locator using java.findby id then we are going to click on it so what will it uh, what it will do is that it will click on the retrieve a, a password so now we are gonna execute it and see how it looks so just to execute it right click and uh, click on the run first so this will run all the tests so we're gonna click on the run button and you can see in the console that you are seeing and you can also see that the browser has launched the url and it uh, so as you can see that that the execution was very fast you can see that the we have uh, run one test and that got passed there were no failures so this is how you can create your first test in uh, selenium with java here in this uh, video we haven't put any assertion so in the next video we will see what are the assertions and how we can use assertions to verify our test steps. Until then, Tata, bye bye. Thank you so much.